The car is almost done. All you need to do is finalize the unwrapping of the tires and wheels. This should be simple enough as it only requires straightforward planar and cylindrical mapping projections. Since the four wheels are instances of one another, you only need to work on one of them, so you'll concentrate on the front left wheel. If you have not saved your file from the last movie, you can use the file named uvunwrappingwheels.max instead. Isolate the wheel so you can see it better. Apply an unwrap UVW modifier on it and open the UV editor. In Polygon Subobject Mode, select all polygons and move them outside of the packing area. Deselect them when done. Now select the center cap and grow the selection until the whole wheel tire side is selected. Apply a planar mapping in the Y axis. Remember to disable planar mode after you have selected the projection axis. Display the bitmap in the working area and adjust the cluster to match the bitmap reference. Using freeform mode, hold Ctrl or Ctrl Alt to scale the cluster uniformly. Repeat the procedure with the inside of the wheel. Scale and adjust accordingly. Remember to verify if the cluster needs mirroring by comparing selected polygons in the viewport and in the UV editor. This leaves you with a strip of polygons that need to be mapped with the tire tread. Select these polygons in the viewport or in the editor. In this case, it's probably easier to select them in the UV editor. Unlike most situations you have used thus far, here you need to apply a cylindrical mapping, not a planar one. Before you use the cylindrical map, disable Map Seams and Shaded Faces, F2. You don't absolutely need to do that, but it will make adjusting the cylindrical map easier to see and predict. Use the cylindrical mapping tool. Set it in X, Y, and Z to see that the Y axis is indeed the one you need. Before you exit the cylindrical mapping projection, try to rotate it on the Y axis in the viewport. Notice the green line that appears at one point. This is where the mapping seam is. By rotating the cylindrical map, you can decide where you place it. Ultimately, it won't make much difference in this case as the treads are meant to tile, but keep that in mind for other situations. Rotate the cluster 90 degrees and adjust it to match the tread in the reference image. This completes the unwrapping of the car. Now that you have learned to map what are mostly rigid components, the next step is to work on an organic model. In the next movie, you start taking a look at unwrapping the dinosaur head.